Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I would love for you to subscribe if you have not already. Hit that thumbs up button and make sure you tap the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. So today's video, really just an opener. It's really just an opener for a conversation that I'm sure I will come back and dive uh, into a little bit more deeply. This is a part of the spiritual and emotional health series. This video is really inspired by just conversations with uh, friends, conversations with so many different women from around the world in different age brackets, um, and also from experience of my own. Just an observation about um, on and off relationships. Relationships that are like, they're just on and off. There are so many different dynamics and so many complexities to the situations that we all find ourselves in or have found ourselves in in the past. I want to point out that the things that I'm sharing right now are more so related to people who are single, not necessarily a marriage that's trying to come back together because that, that adds a whole nother dynamic to the conversation. I hear so many women say, well, you know, I believe in him. I believe in his dreams. You know, I, I support him. Um, I want to be there, you know, all of that, which is amazing. We're women. We're nurturers. There are so many women who are amazing at balancing their own career and their, you know, taking care of their family and supporting um, the dream or, you know, the goals that their man has. Um, and that's, that's a part of you that would never change. Like, God made you someone who could nurture and who could help. But the problem lies wherein when we have a false perception of what it actually is that we're doing. I want you to evaluate. Um, let me see what time it is. Okay, I got to leave in five minutes. I want you to, you know, think about the history of your relationship or this particular situation. Think about your history and you know, the position that you find yourself in in relationships. Um, usually, for most people, depending on your age range, you've been in a, a similar situation multiple times. So, what I want you to do is assess uh, things that have happened and then ask yourself this question. Am I being a healthy support system or am I being a crutch? So, this could really apply to not just you know, romantic, you know, relationships. This could also apply to platonic relationships. This this could apply to the way we handle um, different relationships within our family when it comes to helping. Um, this could even apply to, you know, helping a family member out financially, or it could apply to, you know, taking, you know, someone into your home or how you are being a support to your brother and sister in Christ. Think about literal crutches. When you get an injury that, um, something obviously that hurts really bad and it has to heal. And so you have these crutches to provide for you the support that you need in order for you to still get by, in order for you to still be able to move around and do the things that you need to do. And so these crutches become your, your first love. You can't get up and go anywhere. You know, you can't even get out of bed and move around your house without these crutches. When you find yourself in that situation, you're grateful for that pair of crutches that you have. Well, as your injury begins to heal, you no longer rely on the crutches as much. The crutches are there and you know, you know, if you feel a little pain, you put too much pressure on that leg that day, you know what, I need to use these crutches because I'm not done healing. But when you realize, okay, I'm over this particular injury, what do you do with those crutches? What do you do with those crutches? Most people put them in a closet, put them in the garage, in the storage space, but most people don't throw crutches away. Because they anticipate, they hope not, but they anticipate that they may need those crutches again. They put them away. Another reason why they put them away, even though they don't throw them away, is because they don't want to see the crutches. The sight of the crutches, it just reminds, reminds them of that injury and of that difficult time. Um, if you find yourself in an on and off situation with someone, 
I'm not saying this is always the case, but you need to evaluate. Am I allowing myself to be a crutch in, in telling myself, oh, I support him, I love him, I believe in his dreams. When you are a healthy support system, you are a part of a person's healing process in a healthy way. And you have to examine that situation and decide what is the best way for you to be a part of someone's healing process in, you know, getting through whatever's happening and whatever has happened to them in their life. Do you need to be a part of that healing process from a distance? Do you need to go tend to your own wounds so that you can be in a healthy space to be a part of someone else's healing process? Life is a healing process, but I, that's just, that's, that's, that's what I want you to look at. If you're someone who you keep taking someone back, who's not who has not consistently shown you you know you're someone that I honor I love I respect I want it I want this to grow into a, a great relationship if that person is not showing you that I'm not saying you know kick them to the curve and have nothing else to do with them because I don't know your situation but you know your situation and you may have to take a step back pray reflect ask honest questions and be open to receiving honest answers from people who observe you, people who you know love you, people who have known about you in these situations. I encourage you to, you know, pray. Ask God to help you see yourself and to help you see the situation that you're in for what it is. Because um, I know what that feels like. Like I said, it's been a, a long time. It's been a long time. It's been over five years, probably close to 10 since I've been in a situation where I just did not understand like what is going on. But the thing of it is, it was obvious. I didn't want to see it. And because I am a woman, I'm a woman of God, so I am a nurturer. I want to, I'm, I believe in people. I want to support them and help them do the things that they do. But I had to realize, you know, instead of blaming the person and thinking like, oh, you're this horrible person and you're just evil in this, that, and third. No, this person did what human nature does. When you're hurt, when you're in a bad situation, there's a support system that seems the best for you at that time. But when you're better and you're not in that situation anymore, you know, human nature says these crutches don't fit into my lifestyle anymore. I'm not hurt anymore. I don't need to carry these crutches around. I don't need to lean on these crutches. I can walk. I can do the things that I need to do and while these are some lovely crutches, I don't need them. And I think a lot of us find ourselves in those situations and I I just want to see more people. I want to see I want to see women especially guys too if you find yourself in this situation often. I want to see us be intentional about paying attention to our patterns so that we can heal, so that we can have a better understanding and see ourselves the way God sees us and be able to reflect that to people and be able to be intentional about having healthy relationships that serve God, that serve you well, and serve the people that you love and the people around you. I would love to come back and cover some of the elements of a healthy support system because today I feel like I, I'm more so focused on, you know, are you a crutch? Decide that. Are you really just a crutch? Because if you are just a crutch for someone, as soon as they feel like they're healed, whether they are or not, as soon as they feel like they can, you know, get up and move about the way they need to without you, honey, you're going to be back in the storage room, back in the garage, thrown to the back of the closet, not because you're not amazing, but because you allowed yourself to function like a pair of crutches. I wish you well. I'm praying for all of you ladies. Again, this is no, this is not an insult. I'm saying I understand. I understand your nature as a woman. And I appreciate the way God created us. But we have to understand ourselves better. And then we'll be able to make better decisions about how we allow and who we allow to be in our lives. All right, thanks for tuning into my channel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Please share it with your girls. You know, let's let's talk about this stuff, girls. Let's have this conversation. And hit the notifications button. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.